Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, or Kakadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, okay, who rule well and teach well. And peace and many blessings to the hopeful elect. I want to go into this little quick little through the spirit. I had a video pulled up here from Twitter. We're developing through technology an ability for consumers to measure their own carbon footprint. What does that mean? That's where are they traveling? How are they traveling? What are they eating? What are they consuming on the platform? So individual carbon footprint tracker. Mm. Stay tuned. We don't have it operational yet, but this is something that we're working on. So individual carbon footprint tracker. And we all we all know that are in the know what that is, man. <clears throat> a lot of you different camps are saying there's no such thing as a you know, the MOTB being the M, uh, the RFID microchip. There's chips. Chips are everywhere. Chips is falling into place. It's like a puzzle. The Lord got the puzzle, but everything's falling into place. The prophets are putting everything in the pr in, 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 in its place. The chips are falling, and, and uh, you other people that are teaching that the MOTB is not what the what the elders and apostles on down of Great Millstone teach it. That's just, you know, we're going to have to keep on bringing it up again, bringing it up again, bringing it up again, because these things are happening at such an alarming rate. It's it's so obvious you'd have to be blind not to see, man. And they're talking about carbon footprinting, okay? You see the banks are having this change as we speak right now. Um, they're bringing in the Fed now system. Okay, so everything's going to have to go through the government to be approved. Anything that you do, anything that you buy. And that's that's coming. And whatever you whatever you buy, what your carbon footprint is sooner going to be tracked just like he's talking about. And that Fed now, you know, system is going to turn into that CBDC which is going to turn into ultimately that RFID microchip. They're going to just put it inside of your body. There's thousands upon thousands of people walking around the earth right now, especially over there in like Switzerland and places like that, that have that RFID microchip. Okay. That are tracking their carbon footprint. The government or whoever else is tracking everything they do. They have no privacy. <laughs> and this is what the Bible tells us. It's going to come, man. You know, let me read what this dude said, James Melville. It says, they will sell it to everyone as for your own good. And yeah, they're going to say that. They're going to say it's for your own good in the name of health, in the name of peace and safety, just like he's about to say. Or for your safety or for your convenience. But actually, it's for their control and surveillance. And that's why I want to start off. With this Psalms 52, I had it pulled up. We can actually start off in 51. Or was that 53? Slock you. Let me start at 52, and it says, uh, this is a psalm. I'll start at 1. A psalm of David when Dog, the Edomite, came and told Saul. Because he snitched on David. Yeah, he went here, hurry up and told Saul. Whenever David, King David was hiding, man. And said unto him, David has come to the house of Amalek, of Ahimelech. It says, uh, King David says, why boastest thyself in mischief, O mighty man? It's talking about Esau Edom, man, so-called white man. Okay, today. He's not white, he's red, the so-called red man. Okay, he, he is a red man, so it's not so-called anymore. Okay, <laughs> if you catch my drift, the goodness of... Yahweh endureth continually. Verse 2, and here it goes. It says, Thy tongue devises mischief like a sharp razor, working deceitfully. Okay? Thou lovest evil more than good, and lying rather than to speak righteousness. Okay? And what they're doing, 
They love lying, man. The World Economic Forum, the NWO, the New World Order, okay, the Illuminati. I remember as a kid growing up and seeing those different symbolism and, and, and starting to look into Freemasonry and, and stuff like that 10, 15 years ago and, and, and thinking this shit was like just some kind of big, you know, wormhole to to reach Satan pretty much, wormhole to reach some kind of, I, I always knew it was something going on, man. And most of you brothers that are in this truth right now, you had went through those stages in your life where you were researching Freemasons and researching <laughs> reptilian and all types of weird shit, man. The pyramids, the the aliens, okay? And all roads led to this truth and all roads led to the full assurance of our faith and, and comfort in these scriptures, man. Why everybody else in the world is panicking and freaking out. Okay, we got these scriptures. We know what's about to happen. They said they're going to bring in that CBDC. They said they're going to bring in that carbon footprinting system where they can track if you take a fart or not, man. They can track if you're in the, uh, the private place with your woman, you know, in the bedroom, man. You know, if uh, they decide to push another pandemic or anything and, and people had to go inside the crib, you know, then they can say that, you know, hey, you're supposed to be in the crib. Why are you out? Why are you getting gas right now? They can cut off your car. Why are you at the... Uh, Taco Bell right now. They can cut off your car. No, you're supposed to be. You're not an essential worker. Why are you at the store right now? Well, you know, they could cut it off. So so you won't have no control over your own funds, man. You know, you won't have no control. And they do it all in the name of peace and safety. No, nah, man, but it's a, a total surveillance state. Because what it is, Esau Edom is the damn devil. And he loves having slaves, man. This is his kingdom. He wants you to be his slave. Let's get this scripture right here. I had it pulled up. Well, when I get it, it's Ezekiel 28. And I'll start at two. I'll start at one. It says, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, son of man, say unto the prince of Tyrus, thus saith the Lord God, because thine heart is lifted up. And thou hast said, I am God. I sit in the seat of God in the midst of the seas. Yet thou art a man and not God, though thou set thine heart as the heart of God, man. So Esau Edom is trying to basically have a bunch of, you know, people thinking that he's the Lord. That's why he put up the so-called white man Jesus. And it clearly tells you in Revelations chapter 1 what color our Lord is, man. See, what he did, he accomplished the diligent search, man. You see? Verse 3 right here says, Behold, thou art wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that they can hide from thee. Because Esau Edom goes into the history books. That's why you got the Vatican hiding all types of secret documentaries. So-called about the so-called aliens, which they're not aliens. They want you to believe these things. They push it in the movies. That's their agenda. It's all a part of their agenda, man, to make you believe that there is no God. They are God. Okay? They covered the faces of the judges thereof and all these books and all these movies talking about Moses and uh, the, the, the uh, you know, the passion of Christ and all these things. They show they show our Lord as a, a so-called white man. OK, and all these uh, Bible movies, they sell our people as white people and stuff, man. OK, but that's not the case, man. According to the scriptures, our people are dark skinned people, man. Brown skinned people, all shades of brown. Okay, they got hue in their skin. See, the white man, he ain't got no hue. He, he don't have no melanin, man. That's why he gets burnt. Our people don't get burnt, man. You know, when they go in the sun. So Esau Edom has all these documents. He knows that we're the Israelites. He knows all these things. That's why he took the Apocrypha out of the out of the sixteen out of the Bible, man. He took the Apocrypha out because it proves also that we're the Israelites and proves that he's the devil. See, everything is leading back to Esau, man. He's being exposed, man. This red man, the so-called white man on the earth right now. Red, uh, red skin, you know, you call him red because that's why they call him rednecks because they get red when they get mad. They get red whenever things happen. You slap them on the face, they face to get red. You see what I'm saying? That's that's that devil, man. 
and he's accomplished a diligent search. It says, Ezekiel 28 and 3, Behold, thou art wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that they can hide from thee. Okay? That means this man, he, 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 he studies things. That's why you see the hoods like they are and the jails like they are. Where they feel with blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. Just 12 miles away is a nice white neighborhood. Okay? Where they got police watch, neighborhood watch. You know, over the track the other way, it's just the ghetto, man, where they drop guns and drugs off in the hood and just watch it on the news the next few days. Watch what unfolds. Okay? This is what, this is, this, this is obvious who the devil is of this earth, man. Okay? He pushes all types of crazy laws. Okay? In the earth that go against the Lord. What's the scripture say? In Second Thessalonians, this is the one that uh, the elder apostle, the elder, um, <clears throat> the elder in uh, Dallas, he brings up, man. Let me see. The elder Yasuwan will always he always bring this up. This is uh Second uh, Thessalonians two and three, and it says, "Let no man deceive you by any means." For that day should not come except they come a falling away first and that man of sin be revealed. So we're talking about this man of sin that's wiser than Daniel that accomplishes a diligent search, man. He accomplishes a diligent search, man. Okay. Verse four. It says that man of sin be revealed. Slaki, verse three. The son of perdition. Now perdition, you go into that word and it means destruction. Okay. And ever since uh, Jacob so-called stole the birthright which he didn't it was all in the spirit the lord gave the birthright to jacob from esau okay ever since then he, whenever his father isaac was dying he said the days of my father are and then i will uh kill my brother jacob man so let's get that real quick was it what's it in uh genesis I think he says kill. I'm too excited. I, I spelled it totally wrong. <laughs> yeah, Genesis 27. Yeah, Genesis 27 and 41. Okay, and it reads, and Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, this is the devil, man. He said in his heart, this is ever since this time right here, back in Genesis 27, thousands upon thousands of years ago, this man has hated us. It was actually before this, like in the garden, whenever, you know, Eve went off. The Lord said he's going to have enmity with 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 uh her seed and his seed okay her meaning eve okay and in his seed there's a such thing called the wicked and there's a such thing called the righteous on the earth man negative and positive fighting against each other all day every day in your mind around you it's a constant war man and guess what negative runs this earth man the scriptures say uh was that in the book of, I think it's in the book of Proverbs. I could be wrong, but it says, uh, it says when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice, but when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. So the wicked is ruling this earth ever since back then, man, when Eve ate off that apple, Esau and, and the so-called black woman have been destroying <laughs> the Israelites, man, <laughs> destroying us, man. Going off and, and, and worshiping different gods. Trying to follow the white man everywhere he go. Okay. Put us in the different captivities up under the Lord, man. Lord did it. Put us up under Esau, man. The so-called white man. Brung us over here on slave ships. Deuteronomy 28. So Esau accomplishes a diligent search. And ever since the beginning, he's been trying to kill us, man. That's why there can never be peace between our peoples, man. You seen the other day the damn college coach 
his racist ass talking all types of nonsense, man. Okay, the college football coach, the racist uh, Georgia coach, the video circling the internet of him driving around saying how he wanted to hang a black woman, man. It says, Genesis 27 and 41, and Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, the days of mourning, my father are at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. Then will I slay my brother Jacob, man. Okay. And this is what this devil wants to do. This is this 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 is what's in his heart, man. Second Thessalonians two and three again. And it says, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day should not come except there come a falling away first. And that man of sin be revealed. That man of sin is being revealed. You see his, his, through his moves all day, every day. You see what he's doing. I mean, look at Biden, man. He's definitely an Edomite. Trump, he's definitely an Edomite. Trump rousing up all these Edomites. Oh, make America great again. That's That means make slavery here again. Bring back the guillotines like they're doing. They passed a law in Mississippi that they're going back to the Jim Crow laws. Make America great again. This is their. This is what they want. They, they, they hate you niggas and you and you spicks. Okay, and you Native American tribes. They hate you. They hate your fucking guts. Okay, they are never like you, because they know that we're the children of Israel, and they know that they don't have eternal life and, 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 and immortality with the Lord. They know that they don't got no blessing with the Lord, besides what their blessing is right now, ruling the earth. Okay, and and total wickedness, man, with the sword, with those killing devices, with those vaccines, with bombs, with guns, different diseases, different laws being passed, all up under the so-called white man. Second Thessalonians two and four, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worship, so that he. As God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Yeah, the WEF, Noah Harari, uh, Klaus Schwab, they constantly speak on their Twitter about how they don't need God to do this and that and the other. We don't need God anymore. And this is what's being pushed in the earth. These are the people running your, your television programs. Okay, the, the entertainment industry, rap music, what, what's being produced out of rap, man? A bunch of GMO babies, kids growing up wanting to do drugs, wanting to shake their ass, be 10 years old in the other room with a phone shaking their ass somewhere, while the mother in the other room shaking her ass on the fucking Instagram. A whole bunch of bull crap and nonsense. Men ain't around in the house anymore. Okay. He accomplishes a diligent search. This devil has did everything, man. He accomplishes a diligent search. And this is what they're pushing in the earth, man. This is what they're pushing in the earth. Okay? We're developing through technology an ability for consumers to measure their own carbon footprint. What does that mean? That's where are they traveling? How are they traveling? What is Where are they traveling? How are they traveling? So that's what these people want to know. They want to know where you're going. You, you you just came out the bathroom. You're trying to get in, get in the car. You know, you, 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 you came out the bathroom. They know you went to the bathroom. Now they see your ass walking out the door to get into the car in your garage or in your front front yard or whatever. Where are you going? So So you know I just used the bathroom. Because that's a part of carbon footprinting. And you know I just left out of the house to get inside the car. So you want to know where the fuck I'm going, man. How are you getting there? Okay, that's why they want to get rid of gas cars. They, In the name of uh, protecting the environment, man. When they just have 20-something train derailments in 20 days straight. Okay, Re releasing toxic chemicals into the earth. But they want to cut cut off your carbon footprint like you did something wrong. Killing up all the cows, all the cows. 18,000 cows just got slaughtered not too long ago, man. I think it was a fire somewhere. Um, and before that, they had pictures all over the Internet of all the cows being. Matter of fact, Bill Gates is uh, pushing a program to put masks on the cows saying that they burp too much, man. 
Okay, so they, they they're gonna push a carbon footprint that's way huge, but then they want you to use the bathroom less, to drive your car less, to eat less, to do I mean eating less, that ain't that ain't bad. But it's the things that you consume that make up your carbon footprint, man. The things that you consume that, that you push out into the earth, your energy. And they got my daughter learning about this. I seen it on their homework the other day. Carbon footprint. I was like, what? Wow. But in the end, it's all about tracking you, man. Tracking everything you do. Okay? Tracking your body movements. Okay, ain't no more privacy. They already got it to where on the internet they can they they're, they're uh, tracking people who they consider extremists. Okay, flagging their pages uh, in the name of uh you know they got fact checking mods uh, on different videos and different information that's on the internet because they don't want you to find out the truth of the matter, man. I've seen one that says this is partially, partially fake news. It was a fact checking model. I, I, I said, what the fuck? You said partially fake. Like, so, so they got all types of fakery going on, man. All types of weird stuff, man. Let me listen to it again. What does that mean? That's where are they traveling? How are they traveling? What are they eating? What are they consuming on the platform? So individual carbon footprint. What are they consuming? Mm. See? And that's going to lead to that MOTB, man, that mark of the beast, man. That's what that's leading to. The Fed now, the CBDCs, the carbon footprinting. It's all leading to the MOTB, that mark of the beast system, man. Okay? And this is that dude, man. 2 Thessalonians 2 and 4, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God. They say, uh, man with man can, is okay. We, we'll let you get married. They say uh, children as young as 10 years old can get puberty blockers and change their sex from a man to a woman. That's totally okay. We'll pass laws to protect it. They say, uh, I mean, you got weird stuff going on on earth. You got a woman that gets married to the color pink. You can just marry the color pink. Or, 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 or dude over in China somewhere marrying an uh, anime character that's not even real. Got all types of dolls and shit around the house, man. Married the anime character. Like, just, just crazy shit that's going on on the earth, man. And he, he 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 passes these laws, man. Let's go back to Psalms 52. Psalms 52 and 2, it says, Thy tongue deviseth mischiefs like a sharp razor working deceitfully. And, and, and everything this devil does is mischief, man. Let me see what mischiefs mean. Strong's 1942, it says, Havva. <clears throat> It says desire, desire in a bad sense. Yeah, his desire is to to make you his slave, man. Revelations chapter thirteen, and he calls of all, both small and great. Okay, and we can get that, man. Lord willing. Engulfing ruin, destruction. Did we not just read this dude is the son of perdition? That word perdition goes into destruction, man. Calamity. Okay, mischief. And now, what do you see in the earth, man? Now you see all types of trains derailing, all types of uh, chemicals spilling into the water supply, chemicals being transferred from those spills and getting into crashes on the highway, spilling anyway. Cash App founders being found dead, places getting stabbed up. Wars and rumors of wars, according to Matthews chapter 24. So we're, we're nearing the end of this thing, man. It says, thy tongue deviseth mischiefs, destruction. 
like a sharp razor working deceitfully. Thou lovest evil more than good. Psalms 52 and 3. Thou lovest evil more than good. And Esau Edom, so-called white man, loves evil more than good, man. They love evil shit, man. They're the type of people that have sex with dogs and shit, man. They, they're they the number one terrorist in America. They're the only ones going in and shooting places up. It's always a damn Edomite, man, that they catch on camera. They're the ones uh, sitting there from, uh, in, it was in Vegas, I think it was a few years back, but a damn white man got like 20 guns inside the hotel, start shooting up a country music concert, man. White dude, man. This is Esau Edom. They do this. Those people do this, raping, raping little kids and shit. Human trafficking. They do this, man. It's not our people. It's you fucking devils. It says, verse 4, Thou lovest all devouring words, O thou deceitful tongue. Okay? You see? Because you, cause you're a deceitful tongue, man. He's a damn devil, man, and he's a liar. Okay? He's a damn devil and a liar, man. Yep, this is Psalms 53 and 1. It says, the fool hath said in his heart, there is no God. Yep, and, and, and that's what the WEF pushes, man. See, our people, man, not to get off subject, but all these things are going on, man, and our people, you Negroes like him, you don't have no clue what the fuck is going on on the earth, man. It's like a big-ass wave that's coming towards you, and you see it coming. It's like, you know, but you still want to sit there and play and shit. Uh, it ain't got here yet. When it started getting here, I get the life jacket. Or a big Mack truck that's in the road and it's, it's trying to beep its horn. It's trying to get you out the way. Get the fuck out the road. Get out the road. But you Negroes, you, 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 you dumb motherfuckers don't understand nothing. You just want to stay in the road and keep playing until the motherfucker gets close enough. By that time, you probably already did. What if another one comes from the other way, man? Okay, you're not looking for these things, man. Our people are not looking for these things. They, they, they say things like, not in my lifetime. Well, what does that mean? If you, if you have kids and you say, not in my lifetime, that means you don't give a fuck about your children's future. And that's that's you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans these days, man. Our people, you Israelites, y'all don't give a fuck about your kids, man. Or their future. Or else you'd be waking up, you'd be repenting, getting closer to the Lord, man. That he may save you and your children, man. Okay? This devil ain't gonna change. He know he the devil and he know you the Israelites. And he's doing everything to brainwash you into sinking with him on the Titanic ship, man. You're gonna be like those people that just start playing their music again and just going down anyway, man. Not trying to survive. Because you love this damn system. You love this devil. You, you don't know that there's a better way, man. That's why us brothers are out here to push this word and push this truth to wake you up and to try to make you understand that, hey, man, this ain't it, man. This ain't it. The scriptures say this is not your arrest, man. You know, not to get off a topic. You know, I'm about to close it out. But, hey, this devil is not your friend, man. The so-called white man is not your friend, man. Okay. Now, there's some good white folks out there, and you know, and some white folks can be Israelites, man. You got to try the spirit like by the spirit. This ain't no white and black thing, man. Okay? But you know Esau when you know him, man. You can feel his spirit. He's an evil fucking person, man. You can feel it in his spirit. It ain't about the color. Feel his spirit, man. This is Psalms 53. And one again, it says, the fool have said in his heart, there is no God. Corrupt are they and have done abominable iniquity. Yeah, Esau Edom came over here and, and killed all the Indians pretty much. Set them in different places where there was no water. Gave them land deeds and then broke all these deeds. Took their land anyway. Okay. Abominable iniquity. Tell people you can buy a house, but you still got to pay taxes on the land. Or if you, if you don't, then you, you really don't have that house. You got to pay it for the rest of your life. Or they can take it from you. 
That's a fucking sin, man. That's evil. Okay, spraying chemtrails in the air. All these things, man. You know, releasing certain things in children's cereals and all types of stuff. And then when you find out about it, it's like this is in rat food. This is in rat poison or this, that, and the other. Oh, we only put a little bit in it. It was approved by the FDA. The FDA is approving all types of bullshit. Those other countries don't uh, eat the same things we eat over here in America. That's how you know they're trying to kill you, man. Put you in the ghetto, give you government food that's got all types of rat poison in it and shit, man. Slowly killing you off. And you, and you, and you, you Negroes, Latino, Native Americans, you don't understand you got an enemy, man. He's trying to kill you. That's why you need to get with the Lord because he's the Lord's whipping stick. He's the, he's the one that, you know, brung us over here in slavery. Okay, through the Lord. The Lord said he's going to do it in Deuteronomy, man. 28. Okay, what's that? 15 on down. It's called the curses, man. And we're up under the curse here. Until the Lord come back. The whole purpose of this time here on earth is to repent and come back to the Lord. We ain't got, ain't nothing else to do here. What else is there to do? Ain't nothing to do. We ain't trying to be rich here. It says, there is no God. They say there is no God in their heart. It says, corrupt are they. They have done abominable iniquity. There is none that doeth good. Verse 2, Psalms 53 and 2. Yahweh looked down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there was any that did understand, that did seek Yahweh. And no. Verse 3, every one of them is gone back. They are altogether become filthy. There is none that doeth good, no, not a one. Okay? Yeah. Everybody in this earth is just wicked, man. Okay? These people are wicked, man. These people are wicked, man. And Esau, uh, Esau accomplishes a diligent search, and he'll push you into a trap. He'll push you into a trap. See these, this Fed Now system, this CBDCs that are coming out. It's that trap of that MOTB that the Lord spoke about. And we're gonna close it out real soon. I didn't think it was gonna go this long. This is First Thessalonians. Five and three, and it says, Yep, <clears throat> I'll start at one. It says, But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you, okay? For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety. And what was that dude saying? And, you know, what do they push on the news? What do they push everywhere? They be always talking about peace and safety and all this, that. Okay. But when you go outside, what do you see? Just death and destruction. You living in the valley of the shadow of death, man. Anything can happen, man. A bird can fly from, fall from the sky on your head and, and, and kill you somehow, man. Like everything can happen. You could drink some water. There's a dude that rinsed his nose with some water, some tap water, and he, he ended up dying, man, from some kind of brain-eating fungus. Like, so there's stuff in the water. There's, there's, it's just no rest here. This is totally, everything in America is against the Lord, man. That's why everything is destroyed. You got rivers drying up, the Colorado River drying up. They talking about a lot in water out of the Colorado River, man. And there's already the Indians, the Navajo Nation over there trying to get some of those allotments before this government comes in and starts allotting it themselves, man. So guess what? The Native Americans over there in Navajo Nation, they ain't going to get no money. They ain't going to get no water, man. They're going to have to keep going all the way to the north border, 50 plus miles away, just to get some water down south. Okay? I just went into a lesson about that not too long ago. And these devils don't care about you, man. It says, for when they shall say peace and safety, everything's peace and safety, man. Then sudden destruction cometh upon them as to avail upon the woman with child, and they shall not escape, man. They always talk about peace and safety. That's what they did with that juice, man. They made everybody stop working, stay home, keep a mask on. Everything going to be okay. 
Okay, and then guess what? People start coming out, and guess what? The economy all kind of messed up, fucked up forever and ever, forever, ever, ever, ever. Nobody wants to work anymore. You go to the work, and you don't know how long you're going to last there. Okay? You don't know the company. All types of companies are closing down, shutting their doors. Okay? All types of food manufacturing plants getting bombed, pretty much, uh, burnt up. All types of meat and milk being destroyed, chickens being destroyed, farms all across America being destroyed. They want you to eat synthetic meat made in a lab, all these things, man. In the name of peace and safety. So with that, man, hey, Hopefully this message was out edifying, man. I didn't mean for it to take so long, but hey, it's through the spirit, man. That carbon footprint, you know, that CBDC, that Fed Now system, that MOTB is the ultimate goal, man. The ultimate goal is the MOTB, man, which is the microchip. This is Revelations 13. It says uh, in 11. <clears throat> yeah, I started uh, uh, I started uh, 14 and deceive if them that dwell on earth by the mean I'll start at 13 I'll start at 11 it says and I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth and he had two horns like a lamb but he spake as a dragon okay Democrat, Republican, two horns like a lamb. And a lamb is supposed to be soft. Okay, that same beast, that same Roman Empire, which is the beast. Okay. AKA America 2.0. That same beast had the, they didn't have the, they had the same Democrat, Republican system, but it was called something else back in Rome. They had the eagle just like America. Okay. All these pillars and everything at the White House, just like America. Okay, don't they got a pyramid on the back of your so-called dollar that's devaluing every second? Okay. So, America is Babylon, a.k.a. Egypt, a.k.a. Sodom and Gomorrah. All those spirits are here in America, a.k.a. Rome point two or 2.0, man. This is America, man. Talking about that dragon, that beast. Verse 12, and he exercises all the power of the first beast before him. Okay, who was before him, man? The Roman Empire. And causeth the earth and them that dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. Okay. And he doeth great wonders so that he make a fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. That's talking about those bombs pretty much. You know, whenever uh, America made that atomic bomb and dropped it on like Hiroshima, that was fire coming down from Earth in the sight of men. That made everybody afraid, man. That's how they've kept so much power all these years. But everybody else got bombs now. So they're losing their power. Verse 14, And deceiveth them that dwell on the Earth by the means of those miracles, which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. Okay, miracles. He, Oh, we can make you walk again if you, this, that, and the other. Uh, you got cancer, we can cure your cancer. We, if you got, uh, if you're blind, we can make you see through this chip that we can put inside your, you see? All these things. If, if you're just, a, if you're a woman, you can, you can be a man. If you're a man, we can make you get pregnant. We ain't even got to create a woman. Uh, we ain't even got to have a woman and man make a baby. We can make babies in some lab somewhere. Off of a computer. These are all many miracles that that the people are seeing. And, and, and this is the world. This, the, this is the way the world is going, man. Because these people want to play God. They, they think that they're the Lord. They say, oh, we don't need God. We can make babies in a lab somewhere like the movie Matrix, man. And deceiveth them. 
Revelation 13 and 14, and deceiveth them that dwell on earth by the means of those miracles, which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. Okay, saying to them that dwell upon the earth that they should make an image to the beast, which had the wound by the sword and did live in that image. Okay, that's representing his, his mark. Representing him, man. You his slave now. Okay. You represent the new world order. You represent the 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 the, the WEF system. Walking around with a, a chip in your hand and a chip in your in, in your head with some kind of little uh lens over your eyes so you can see through walls and shit. I don't know. All types of weird shit's gonna be happening here in the future, man. Verse 15, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. That's that new world order. That's his image. On the Georgia God stones, uh, I think the third commandment was to, uh, the first one was maintain humanity up under 500 million. The third one was talking about that image of the beast, that new world order. It says, main, it says, uh, Unite humanity, humanity with one new living language. That was the third commandment on the Georgia Godstones, man. One living new, one new living language. Okay, and how do you communicate through the internet, right? Okay, so they're gonna put chips in people to make it easier to communicate. Those chips are gonna make doc it easier for doctors to know what what to do to your body. They're gonna be tracking your carbon footprint. All these things. One new living language, man. That's talking about the that's talking about the new world order, man. Okay? That's talking about the financial system, the carbon footprinting, tracking every single thing. Okay, you'll be able to uh you'll be able to, you know, if emergency happens, you know, and or you know, you in a car wreck or this, that, and the other, and they'll be able to respond faster and everything if you have that chip. They they're gonna promise you all types of uh peace and safety details, man. But in the end, man, the Lord say, anybody take that, which we're getting to that. Okay. Just bear with me. We're getting to it. Lord said, anybody take that, he's going to destroy it, man. It says, it says by means of those, by the means of those miracles, which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth, that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by the sword and did live, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And that's what they're doing, man. They got all the prophets on uh, different, um, different, um, what is that called? Different uh, list, you know, extremist list, terrorism list, when all we do is preach the word, we ain't going out and shooting nobody and raping nobody and taking no lady's purse, whatever that Charleston dude said. When just a wicked dude, man, Charleston White, man, the Lord gonna kill that dude, man. Okay, we ain't doing none of that. All we doing is preaching the word of the Lord. This came straight out the Bible. That's why they hate the scriptures because they know that their judgment is coming, man. It says. Verse 16, and here it goes, it says, and he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead, man. Okay, and that, that word mark goes into karagma. And and, and, and and that goes into karax, which is pretty much a stave. It's talking about those needles, man. Let's read it in the NLT, it says, verse 16, he requires everyone, small and great, rich and poor, free and slave to be given a mark on the right hand or on their forehead. And it don't even matter where it's at, in your forehead, your hand, and your eyeball, motherfucking, your booty, your left toe, your pinky toe, and your left foot, man. If you take that mark, this is what's about to happen to you, man, in Revelation 14. And, and this is what's about to happen, man. And he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor. That's what the white man was talking about. These things is about to come into play, man. This thing's about to come into play, man. You know? Through technology and ability for consumers to measure their own carbon footprint. What does that mean? That's where are they traveling? How are they traveling? What are they eating? 
what are they consuming on the platform? So individual carbon footprint tracker. Tracker. Stay tuned. We don't have it operational yet. But... Tracker, man. A tracker. Okay. It's going to be to track everything you do, man. You go take a crap. It knows you're taking a crap. That's what Esau wants to do. He wants to put this inside your body, man. It's a damn chip. Why do you think America's guarding Taiwan so much? They're the number one microchips makers in the planet, man. That's why they guarding them. It's all about the chips. It's all about the chips, man. It's all about the chips. Verse uh, 16, and he calls of all both small, great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark. It's all about the chip. Verse 17, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Let me read that in the KJV or the NLT. It says, and no one could buy or sell anything without that mark, man. It's all about the chip. This is what they bring in, man. Which was either the name of the beast or the number representing his name. See, it's all about the chip. And this is what's going to happen to you if you get that chip, man. <clears throat> This is, uh, and it says, uh, Revelation 14 and 9, it says, doom for worshipers of the beast. So if you worship this NWO, this beast system, okay, this devil system, I mean, they got satanic programs for after school programs, satanic after school Satan club. They're pushing that in America, man. After school trans club. Little kids, man. Drag shows at the uh, school's. Drag shows in churches, all targeting little children. Why are, they, why are they charging the little children? Because they're going to be the ones that are not going to resist. They want to target them in school. You don't know what your kids are, are learning in those schools. That's why you need to be calling up there. That's how I found out that, that they, they teach in my seventh grader about carbon footprinting man already in the seventh grade like what the hell i thought that was just regular algebra and stuff are you talking about carbon footprinting so they're pushing this agenda on the children man that's why they got them they love they love the kids having tiktoks and and instagrams and all this shit so that whenever you're not around they can push different ads and different shit on our kids man Okay, so so that they can be less resistant. They're going to kill off the, all the older folks, and then the kids are going to grow up, and they're going to be, oh, yeah, we love all this. This is great. You see? But it's totally against the Lord. This is Revelation 14 and 9. It says, and the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast in his image, okay, the beast is... Uh, the Roman Empire, pretty much, aka America 2.0. America is 2.0 of the Roman Empire, pretty much. And what they represented. And the image is the new world order of the Roman Empire uh, uh, of America. And Esau's empire across the, across the uh, world, pretty much. The white devil's empire, man. If you worship this damn devil, it says, and receive his mark, and that mark is that karagma, man? That karagma. Let's go to the inner liner. It's basically, yeah, man. Karagma. Strong's 5480s. Karagma, man. And you go into the root word of that karagma. It says, to sharpen to a point, it says karax. It's like a needle, a pail, a stake, a palisade, a palisade, a rampart, pails between which earth, stones, trees, and timbers are heaped and packed together. It says to sharpen to a point. Okay? And that karagma, a stamp, an imprinted mark, like a tattoo. It says only under your skin, though, you know what I'm saying? 
It says a stamp and imprinted mark of the mark stamped on the forehead of the right hand of the badge of followers of the Antichrist, uh, followers of uh, Esau Edom, the devil, man, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, who sitteth in the seat of God, showing himself that he is God. Second Thessalonians 2 and 3. Things carved, sculptured, graven work of idolatrous images. Okay? The etching, the stamp. So this is something that has to be physically put inside your body, man. And the Lord's going to kill everybody who gets that thing, man. Okay? And it's already here. Verse 10, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels. And in the presence of the Lamb, man, fire and brimstone. That means you ain't going to get picked up. You're going to be down here on earth when the chariots are picking up the elect. Okay? Because the Lord is only coming for his elect. You're going to be down here on earth burning. And we're going to look through those glass, you know, those chariots. And we're going we're gonna to look down and see how much fire is going to be on America, man. I mean, fire is going to rain down on this place, man. According to the scriptures. Okay? The last, the last time the world was flooded with water during the days of Noah. This time the world's going to be flooded with fire. The world of Esau, not the whole world. But wherever Esau, Edom, the so-called Edomites dwell, and wherever you two-thirds, Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans that don't want to get right with the Lord, that want to hang on to Esau, Edom, so-called white man, you want to you want to wipe his ass for him uh, under everything he do. Y'all gonna get burnt with nuclear fire, man. Thus saith the Lord God, according to the scriptures. The Lord said He's gonna sweep it with the besom of destruction, man. I'm supposed to close off. I'm supposed to stop this, but I can't. I'm sorry. Isaiah 14 speaks about it. Yeah, and they, they call it Assyria. It says, um, what does it say? Besom of destruction. Yeah, man. <clears throat> yep. <laughs> Isaiah 14 and 21, it says, prepare slaughter for his children. For the iniquity of their fathers, man. Yeah, we were preparing slaughter. Lord, Lord loves, he want to get you Edomites too. That they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the faces of the world with cities. For I will rise up against them, saith the Lord of hosts, and cut off from Babylon, a.k.a. America, man. The name and the remnant and the son and the nephew. It notices all types of boys, right? Because the, the, the men are the ones who, who, who keep the bloodline going. Okay, not the woman. The Lord said he's going to cut off the name, the remnant, the son, and the nephew, saith the Lord. And I will also make it a possession for the bittern and pools of water. And I will sweep it with the besom of destruction, saith the Lord, man. And what's that word besom mean? And that means, hey, the, the besom of destruction, man. That's Hey, it's going to be fire out here, man, with the besom. What's besom mean? Let me see. Strong's 4292. It says, uh, broom. Woo! <laughs> hey, he's going to sweep you with a broom of destruction. You see? That's a nuke going off, man. That's that wave going out and pushing things out, man. You know? Nukes going off, man. It's going to be a lot of them, man. You know? Anyway, with that, man, hey, when they, should, when they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh, man. Okay, so that MOTB coming. These devils are pushing this wicked agenda in the earth, man. And it's almost that time, man. So it's just a quick through the... Well, it wasn't quick at all. Just through the spirit, pretty much, man. I don't even know what I want to call it, man. Anyway, with that, hopefully this message was edifying. Shallow one.